Good morning, class. I am your teacher, Jomar Pasamonte. For today, children, we will talk about The Ants and the Grasshopper by Aesop Fables. Are you familiar with the title? Oh, some of you are uh, familiar about The Ants and the Grasshopper, and that's good. If you already know what is The Ants and the Grasshopper all about, then that will be your advantage for our discussions because you are able or you are capable to discuss and um, you are capable to explain some circumstances or instances in the story about the ant and the grasshopper by Aesop Fables. Now, children, before we proceed to our discussions, let us pray first and feel the presence of our Lord. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the death but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Class. Our objectives for this discussion are, as a teacher, I am hoping that all of you will determine or understand what is the ant and the grasshopper all about. Second, I am hoping also that all of you will um, appreciate the importance of reading. And last, I am hoping also that all of you here in my class will will use or will apply the good moral in the story of the ant and the grasshopper okay but before that children before we proceed to our um, discussions about the ant and the grasshopper i have prepared here a short video clip about our topic okay let's play the video Okay, children, that is the end of the short video clip about the ant and the grasshopper. Now, as you observed and focused on the video, can I ask you some questions? As a viewer or as a listener to the short video clip about the ant and the grasshopper, what did you observe? Can anyone? Yes? Very good. Children, according to your classmate, he observed that the main character of the story is, is the ant and the grasshopper. Exactly. Another. Yes? Very good again. He said, um, the ant is really industrious while the grasshopper is not. All your observation children are correct. Okay, let's proceed to our topic. Okay. Um this is the grasshopper and this is the ant. Now, let's talk about if what is ant? What do we mean by ant? Children, ant is a small insect, right? It's a small insect. Often with a sting that usually lives in a complex social colony. So, if people have, if people or us as a human being or, or as, a, as a person, we have, we have our house, right? We, we are living in our home. And it's same with the, with the ants. They also, they, they, they are also have a colony. If we called our house as a house, then the ants have also a colony. With one or more breeding queens. So, um, if in our home we have our parents, then the ants has their queens. And the queen give birth a millions of ants. It is wingless except for fertile adults. 
which often form large matting swarms and is proverbial for industrious nests. Did you see that? The ants are really industrious. Next is the grasshopper. Grasshopper children are a group of insects belonging to the suborder Cauciflera or um, Califera. They are a suborder of Califera. They are among what is probably the most ancient living group of chewing herbivorous insects. So, the grasshopper are the herbivorous insects dating back to the early Triassic around 250 million years ago. Understood? Very good. Now let's proceed to the story of the ant and the grasshopper. Children, all you have to do is observe and listen carefully, okay? Let's start. Once upon a time, there lived ants and a grasshopper. In a grassy widow, all day long the ants would work hard collecting grains and wheat. Or they are collecting grains of wheat from the farmer's field. Far away, they used to work in much disciplined manner. They would hurry to the field every morning as soon as it was light enough to see by and tail back with the heavy grains of wheat. Balance in their head, they would put the grains of wheat carefully away in their larger land and then hurry back to the field for more. On the other hand, the grasshopper was lazy. and will dress all day in the shade singing songs to himself and eating tasty treats. He would enjoy his life to the fullest and hardly cared what comes next. He always used to pity the poor ants who work hard all day. Days went by, the grasshopper hoped around in the grass warm, happy and well fed, 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 and chirping and singing to himself because life was good. While ants were carrying grains and taking them to their, to their nest with the great toil, one day when the ants were carrying the grains one of the ant fell down due to the heavy weight of the grains. He was tired and hurt. Instead of helping the ant, the grasshopper looked at him and laughed at him and laughed. The ant asked, Mr. Grasshopper, will you please help me with lifting the screen? Till my nest, I will be really thankful to you. But the grasshopper ignored him and continued playing his music. With many efforts, the ant alone lifted the grain. Why do you work so hard, dear aunt? The grasshopper said. Come. Rest a while and listen to my song. Summer is here and days are long and bright. Why waste the sunshine in labor and soil? The ant would ignore him and head bed or head bed. Will just hurry to the field a little faster. And this would make the grasshopper laugh even louder. Ho, 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 ho. What a silly little aunt you are. He would call after her. Come and dance with me. Forget about work. Enjoy the summer. Live a little. 
I am helping to lay up food for the winter, said the aunt. And recommend you to do the same. Huh? Why bother about winter? said the grasshopper. We have got plenty of food and present, and there is still plenty of time to prepare for winter. But the, the ant knew what he was doing and went to his away and continues his toil. <coughs> And the grasshopper hopped away across the window singing and dancing merrily. <coughs> this continued for the rest of the days to come. Instead of working and preparing for winter, the grasshopper preferred to dance, sing and play as his leisure. He did not realize that the wonderful summer days will not last forever and soon. Cold and rain, days will be near. Summer faded into autumn and the autumn turned into winter. The sun was hardly seen and the days were short and gray. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> the nights long and dark, it became freezing, cold, and snow began to fall. The grasshopper shivered through the cold freeze, breathed. He tried to cover himself with the dry leaves around, but the strong wind even blew those away. He felt hungry and could not find anything to eat. He was sure that if he will not eat, he will soon die. He felt weak and soon Grasshopper realized that the ant was right and he should have been prepared. The Grasshopper did not feel like singing anymore. He was cold and hungry. He had no more, nowhere to shelter from the snow and nothing to eat. The widow and the farmer's field were covered in snow and there was no food to be had. Oh, what should I do? Where shall I go? Wailed the grasshopper. He had not thought that this winter might be worse than usual, and because he had not stored food for himself or help anyone else to do it, he would not live to see another summer. He had now here to shelter from the snow, and found himself dying of hunger. While he saw the aunts enjoying the food stored and collecting in the summer. <sighs> I shall go to the aunt and ask her food and shelter, declared the grasshopper working up so he is staggered to the ant hill and knock at their door. Hello, aunts. Here I am to sing for you as I warm myself by your fire while you get, get me some food from that larder of yours, said the grasshopper. No, no. Mr. Grasshopper, we do not wish to listen to any song of yours, said the ant. He begged them to let him in and asked for something to eat, or else he would die. What? cried the ants in surprise. Haven't you stored anything away from the winter? 
What is the world were you doing all last summer? said the ant. I did not have time to store any food, said the grasshopper. <coughs> Excuse me. Complained the grasshopper to the ant. I was so busy playing music that before I knew it the summer was gone. The ant shock their heads in disgust turned their backs to the grasshopper and went on with their work. The ant who asked the grasshopper to help him looked at him and said, All summer long, I work hard while you made fun of me and song and danced. You should have thought of winter then. Find somewhere else to sing, Grasshopper. There is no warm or food for you here. The ant shut the door in the Grasshopper or shut the door to Grasshopper. The Grasshopper could not do anything but to cry. Children, that's the end of the story of the ants and the grasshopper. Did you enjoy listening? Very good. Now, children, as you listen the sh the um, story about the ant and the grasshopper, what do you think is the story want to indicate to us as a listeners? What is the story all about? Yes? Very good. Children, the story about the ants and the grasshopper is about being industrious and lazy. Children, you have to remember this, that if you are keeping foods, you are storing foods, while it's not too late, then you will survive soon. Well, if you are not industrious and you are just like the grasshopper, you you will experience the same things what the grasshopper experienced in the story. Okay? Another observation. Yes? Very good. So, the main character is the ant and the grasshopper. Another? Yes? Very good. The ant or the ants are really industrious and they stored food during the summer. While the grasshopper, according to her classmate, the grasshopper enjoyed the summer. And he never thought he never thought for the yesterday or for tomorrow. He just enjoyed his life. He just enjoyed enjoy his life into summer. Okay, the ant grasshopper, the ant grasshop, the grasshopper is being lazy. Okay, children. Okay, okay. Um, now children. Um. I know you learn about the ant and the grasshopper. Um, you understand the story. Um, you are now ready for the quiz. Okay? Children, our quiz for today about the ant and the grasshopper. Write true if the following statement is correct and false if not. Again, I repeat. Write true if the following statement is correct and false if not. Are you ready? Let's start. Number one. The ants are really industrious. What is the answer? Is it true or false? Number two. The grasshopper is working hard in collecting foods. 
what is the answer? Is it um, true or false? Number three. The ants ignored Grasshopper when he asked for a food and shelter during the winter season. Is it true or false? Number four. The ants were having a good collaboration in collecting foods. What is the answer? Is it true or false? For the last number, the main characters in the story are a snake and the frog. What is the answer? Is it true or false? Okay, children, uh, I, um, I know you are done for our quiz, quiz today. Let's proceed to our for your assignment. Um, children, um, your assignment is... Please take some time to read and evaluate again The Ant and the Grasshopper by Aesop Fables. Take a look the actions of the main characters and try to apply excuse me and try to apply the good morals in the story. Did you get it class? Very good. Now, children, before we end our discussions for today about the aunt and the grasshopper, I just want you to remember this one. In the story, sorry, in the story, we notice the different circumstances occurred, which is the actions of the ant and the grasshopper are really different and they have their, uh, or they have their uh, different uh, behaviors and actions, right? And it affects their behavior in the story. Children, re remember this, okay? What you do today will reflect tomorrow. Again, what you do today will reflect tomorrow. The action of the grasshopper should not be followed and as a children or as a, or as a human being, we have to disregard that. Because once you are just like the grasshopper, you will regret soon. Okay? But then again, once you understand the importance of being industrious, your life will be good and you were you are uh, and your life will be saved once the tragedy happened. Okay? Being an aunt is good because they are industrious. Children, that is the end of our topic for today. I hope you learned a lot about the story of um, Ace of Fables, the Ant and the Grasshopper. All you have to remember, do not be lazy and um, what you do today will reflect tomorrow. Thank you and have a good day, children.